Hello there. I want to try to make a uh, easy to understand uh, video here regarding audio in Eclipse and some things you can do within Eclipse to make audio uh, come across to different files or vice versa to take audio from one file and split that file into something else. If you recall, when you make an Eclipse document, you're going to have the ECL file, the note file, the WAVE file, which is your audio, and then probably a auto brief dictionary if you have that. Uh, if you look here in the folder, you can see that I have, I've got a couple of files in here that uh, are going to uh, be my example files. I made a play folder to do just that so that I can uh, manipulate these files and uh, show you how uh, you are able to bring audio with you. So if we were to open up a file here that I've worked on, this one's called 020614. If we go back to the Windows folder, you can see here's the ECL file and the audio file is in here with it. So when I go back into Eclipse and I press play, which I'm going to do, let's just see if we can hear it. So you can hear, hopefully, it may not have been very loud, but you can hear that the audio plays at the exact spot that I want it to. Now I'm going to go to another file that uh, is 121113B and I'm going to uh, jump down here to where the uh, testimony is and if I press play here We should get some audio. Let me get to the uh, right spot. Let me check something here real quick. Uh, we didn't hear any audio. Hang on one second. And I know why. I got ahead of myself uh, for just one second here. Let's try this again. You hear that when I press play, the audio came up on this file. Now here is another file 121113BREC. This is within the other file. I'm going to go, I'm going to look for the word uh, Blas Mesa in my 121113B file. So let's do a quick search. You can see right here, I have Blas Mesa that's on page uh, 61. And in my other file, I've got that part extracted out. Now, if I press play right here, which I just did, you're not hearing anything. Now, why is that? And I'll show you why. If we go back into Windows Explorer, and we look here, you can see that, like we showed before in the 020614 file, you've got your ECL file, your note file, your WAV file, your dictionary file. Here on the 1213 file, I've got the, the same things. Now here on the 1213 BREC file, there's no audio to go with it. There's a couple of ways to make that work. One thing you can do is when you extract out something from a master file, for instance, I extracted it out from 121113B and I called it 121113BREC. The ECL part, the uh, text, will come with it. The audio will not. That's because I need to truncate the name of this file 
to make it be able to see and play this audio. Now what I should have done is I should have called this something different. So let me go here and let me close that file. Let me go back into Windows here and what I should do is I should call this file 12.11.13b for the WAV file underscore breck. Let's just try that and see what happens here when I change the name here. B, that needs to be lowercase b underscore breck. It's important that this first part be the exact same name as the WAV file. The underscore breck just tells me that uh, that's something that I extracted out. Uh, this is really handy when you have one master file and perhaps you may have done uh, five or six guilty pleas. If you want to go into the first file and extract it out, you can do that. In fact, let me just do something a little bit differently. Let me just delete this file. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to delete it. I want to get rid of it. And now we have nothing here. I'm going to go back into the 13 file here and I'm going to go up right here. I'm going to go and I'm going to extract and I'm going to go down to page, let's see, go to page 85 and somewhere right around here there should be the end of this file and let's just uh, get it right here and I'm going to do an Alt W. I'm going to make sure that I put it back here in this play folder and let's call it 12.11.13b and let's make it underscore I'm going to make it underscore breck So now I have 1211B underscore Breck. I'm going to create the file, yes. Okay, so now let's look to see if we have under the play folder a 1211B underscore Breck. And we do. I'm going to open up that file, go back up to the top. And if I press play, I'm sure you could hear the audio uh, being played. The reason it played is because I took the first name, the 121113B, and I put the underscore Breck that told this file right here to play the WAV file. And you can see here on the Windows Explorer 121113B underscore Breck. As long as this part matches the name of that audio file, it will play that audio file. Now, one other thing I want to do is I want to go to the end of this file, pretend I'm at the bottom of it. I'm going to do a read block and I'm going to read from the play folder I'm going to read this file in to the bottom of my other file so you can see here that it is at the bottom of the file and if I go down here and press play it's going to play but it's not playing at that point it should say where were you born it's playing something else and it's like what is it playing well what it's actually playing right here is somewhere else in the 121113B WAV file and it's not playing what should be tracking out of the 020614 file because I am not in that file if I was to open up 
and be over in the other file it would work and it would work just fine as I'm going to show you I am now in 020614 and you can see that it tracks right there perfectly it's not tracking in the 12 11 13 B file because it is not synced up with the audio there's a couple of ways to do this once you know you have gotten past the audio for 12 11 13 B and now you know that you've read in 020614 there's a nifty trick here that you can do and that is you can do a shift alt V for is what mine is for job variables and I can go in here and I can type in WAV equals 020614 and when I do that that's going to tell Eclipse on this particular file from where the cursor is right now we're going to play the audio uh, in WAV file 020614 and it's going to play it from here it will track if I go back up anywhere else above there where the new file is it won't play correctly but if I go back down here to where I have read in the new file and I have it here when I press play you can hear so even though I am in 12 11 13 B I have told Eclipse by doing shift alt V I want you to start playing this WAV file 020614 this is all you have to put in you don't have to put in dot wave it will play this file correctly for you so once again I hope that uh, that helps what I can do is I can back this out and when I click OK if I were to go back up above on let's say page 75 you can see that when I press play there it's playing the file correctly so there's a couple of things you can do to make the audio come with you and follow you I you remember on 12 11 13 B I highlighted some pages that I wanted to extract then I did alt W I named the file with a truncating name the 12 11 13 B underscore Breck and by doing that it was able to go back and play the 12 13 12 11 13 B way file although it was in the truncated file 12 11 13 B Breck or I was able to go into the 12 11 13 B file and I had read in another file into it once I got to that part of the transcript where I needed the other audio to start playing I then did shift alt V and typed in wave equals whatever the name of the file was that I read in and from that point forward it started playing the audio from the file that I read in so I hope that um, gives you some uh, uh, further explanation on how to use audio, how to do truncating, or how to read two files together and have that second audio play when necessary when you get to that point of the transcript of editing. And uh, the other option that you can do, which is rather tedious, is remember we read this 0206 into the 12, 13, 12 11 13 file what I could do is once I got to that point in the transcript I could actually rename this way file to be zero to rename it to be uh, rename this audio to be um, let me start that over I'm in this file I'm at the point where I need to hear this audio that's in this file I would rename the WAV file here to be this name what I would do with this one is I would probably uh, go in here give it something like uh, Z 
Z or something. I would call it that. And then I would go up here. I would click on this one. And I would rename it to be 121113B WAV file. And then this would start playing it. But the way I do it by using the Shift-Alt-V for job variables makes it much easier to do and saves you trouble of going into the Windows Explorer and doing it that way. It's just easier to be able to do a WAV equals whatever the name of the WAV file is from that point forward and you're good to go. Remember if you go back above where you read that file in you'll need to take out those words in the job variable window so that it will play the stuff above at the uh, correct place. I hope that helps. Uh, I tried not to make it too confusing but I hope I gave you some uh, good ideas and some further explanation on how to do this. Thank you.